Hey, boy, that guy. Uh, what's wrong, officer? Boy, you in a heap of trouble. The Dodge Challenger. The Challenger appeared in 1970 with the goal to be the most potent muscle car ever. It was a bit larger, a bit sharper, and a lot more versatile in trim and package options. We got tires, then, boy. Optional polyglass GTs. R racing stripes. Optional 440 Magnum V8. It's a new optional slapstick racing shift. Concealed wipers, and it's got dual headlights. And you don't find that on any racer, do you? Careful, boy. I'll book you as an officer. Though the Challenger was retired a couple of times in its history, the current line has been going strong since 2008, and it hasn't looked back. Except for in the looks department. While other muscle cars from this era have, over time, become sleeker and more organic and more round, the Challenger decided to keep all of its sharp edges, which in turn keeps its attitude and all of its retro details. To drive a Challenger, in a lot of ways, is to drive back in time and become a 1970s action star. And I mean it. The Challenger has been a favorite of Rebels for years. You know, of course, at the very beginning of it, you have uh, the Dukes of Hazard. They drove a Dodge Challenger. Dom from the Fast and Furious movies. Dee Snyder, for those of us who like good old classic rock and roll. There's the time that George Washington drove it into battle against the Redcoats in 2009. And in the latest Batman movie, The Batman, the one with Robert Pattinson in it, the Batmobile is styled after the Dodge Challenger. I mean, it's not exactly a Dodge Challenger. It is an imaginary, uh, you know, comic book car. But still, like, it's there. The blueprints are there. And that says a lot to me. Not gonna lie to you guys, that's the sole reason why I picked the black one. <laughs> I, I, I love starting this thing, just the roar of the engine, you know? <laughs> it's a cool car. And it feels good to drive, too. Like, you could tell it has that heritage of being a real muscle car, you know? Like, it, it just wants to get up and go. And it is just so much fun to just be like riding a dragon. It feels like I'm riding a dragon. That's cool. I'm glad I said that. That is a cool way to say it. We also got to talk about like the stats behind this thing, right? Underneath the hood, we have a 5.7 liter V8 engine in this particular model that gets 375 horsepower and 410 pounds of torque. Yeah, this is an honest-to-goodness muscle car. Lights green, ready, go! <laughs> oh, I gave myself the hiccups. <laughs> oh, there it is. And then, like, if we talk a little bit about the interior here, you know, I kept gushing about how beautiful the exterior of the car is, how it feels like you go back to the 70s and you're an action hero and it's fantastic. And I just, I, I love that. But like the interior, you know, it's not a joke in here either. You have all of the cool modern amenities that you would expect to have from any car, which is really, really nice because like I like to look really mean and angry on the outside with a muscle car like this. but. You know, I like having the comforts of home and the conveniences that modern cars have brought to us. So this really is the best of both worlds. This is really the best that you can get for that kind of aesthetic, that kind of classic rock, but also I really need to get work done kind of feeling. The stats are cool. The heritage of the thing is cool. 
the looks of it are just amazing. I've really fallen in love with this car.